the Gantt chart. So let me just make this a little bit bigger for you to see. So the first part of the Gantt chart is the title. So if you go to cell D1, put your project title in, whatever that might be. OK. You should already have a start date of today's date. Um, so if, say, for, for example, you wasn't starting your project or you started your project, say, a month ago, you would change that to the 5th, which is the 5th of May. This is American, so it gives you the month, then the date. OK, so the American is backwards. There is a way to change it, but I can't remember off the top of my head. The next is today's date. Well, today's date is the 35th. No, the 1st of June. OK, so we change this to the 1st of June. So that then becomes. First. Of the 6th return. Now this says display week. So this refers to what is the first week from the start date of the project. So if the start date is the 5th of the 1st of June. That's wrong, that's May. Oh no, we said we started last, we said we started in May. Yes, we, we uh, started it. Dates, you need to put six after yeah. 106. OK, so we started this in May, the 1st of May. Today's date is the. 1st, 06, 2022. Is the 6th of June, Wednesday the 6th. And we're looking at week one. Now, for argument's sake, this week refers to where we are. Now, if we wanted to go to week 35 and we posted in 35 in here, 